today's video again was not planned. However, I just went and picked up a birdie hen with furry and chicks. And I had hatched some baby chicks and they were uh, really rare breeds. They're really expensive breeds and they had a birdie sarama and so I just picked them up. And we're gonna go put them in their home. Aren't they adorable? We're gonna pick off some polyglycol too, just so she has enough vitamins. But look at that, I'm so excited. Yes, hey guys, I'm happy Valentine's Day. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is so chilly outside and freezing, but today I decided to get baby chips. Let's talk about it. So a friend of mine was actually hatching a bunch of different kinds of chicks, but I couldn't get them at that time. However, in a week, you guys know, or you maybe you don't know about it. In a week, I am going to be getting a shipment of 32 various breeds, all kinds of breeds of baby chicks, and I will post that, so stay tuned for that. However, before I got those chicks, I wanted to get um, some more chicks. So I got a few, like, I think it's like four weeks ago, I got, I had a birdie hand, so I got her five baby chicks from a local feed store. And I did a, I have a video on that. I'll link all the videos in the description. How, and that was amazing, and she has a great mama now. And then I put some eggs in the incubator because I want to hatch them around the same time that those eggs are coming in the mail. So I did that too. However, I didn't, this was not planned, but I decided to, my friend was had some an order of rare bee chicks coming in, so I decided to get a couple, and she threw in two extra for fun. Let's talk about it. Okay, so she also, I was only wanting to get two black. <laughs> Hens, they're, they're unsexed, but that's just the name of the breed. Or Svarvholva, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, chicken, and they're really rare, and I really wanted to, so I did get two of those. She threw in a pita pinta. I think I'm pronouncing that right, chick, and a um, silver spangled Appalachian or Spitzhoven. You all get the best, and everyone. Whatever. I think I'm not. I'm not pronouncing these right, too. But um, she threw in those for fun, and that was really awesome. But she also gave me a seven-month-old broody, um, frizzled. Sarama, the smallest chicken breed in the world. So she's a tiny birdie mom and she's gonna be raising little baby chicks. And she'll also be living with the 30 baby chicks coming in the mail. But she'll need to be acclimated to the cold because she's not she's been living in 70 degrees in the house from the lady from my friend I got her from. So that's gonna be fun because right now we're minus something. <laughs> well right now I think it's like five degrees, but you know, not really warm. So she probably won't head outside herself until maybe like like May. Maybe more like April, but her chicks will go out before that, but I'll have to separate for her and she'll be raised still in the basement until it gets warm because she needs to be acclimated. So I didn't really film myself going and picking them up, but like, she just brought them in a box and we were car to car and she just gave them to me, which is really fun. So now I'm going to go downstairs in my basement where they are and I'm going to show you guys them. They are pretty cute. Let's get started. All my poultry is kept in my basement. I also want to let you guys know to stay tuned for a video that's going to come up of getting my waterfowl. I'll be getting four ducklings and two goslings soon and I'll talk more about that later. However, that's going to be really exciting. This is going to be the big brooder I'm going to raise all my 30 something chicks in. However, I put a separate tote bin inside of this for her and her babies. Isn't she cute? And then this birdie mama is going crazy. Like there's another birdie mama light hanging here and just put it up so I can move the sled but normally it's much closer to the, it's like on the grid because obviously this is it's not really warm enough for her so it's not for that. So what's the way I'm need to give them a little bit more vitamins so I just I just mix some polyvisol in her feed with a little bit of water so yeah that's the mash that's you see. the mash mix. Food, water, mama and four um, hang on, I'm just the camera. Excuse the pipes and the gross stuff on top, but I'm going to go grab a couple baby chicks and I'll show you each one individually and tell you guys what they are. I don't even know if I have names for any of these chicks, but. So this is the Silver Spangled Applins or Spitzhoven right here. No lighting super bad, but there she is. He says you can even see her little crest that's starting. And I think she might be a pullet looking at her feathers. Just seeing there's very little development, but. What I see. That's 
the paperbacks. This is just like an AM tsunami. However, they're more they're um, more hardy, and so this is an all black bird. It's pretty expensive too, but look how cute he is. Or she is. Hopefully for sure. And the other black ones right there, and I'm not really gonna take them out just to spare time because they kind of are basically identical. Okay, so the last and not least chicks is a pin pita pita pinta, I think. Or pita pita pinta, I don't know. This one, I have a faint suspicion of a cockerel. What do you guys think? Hope it's not, but maybe. There he is. Wanna say hi? I'm sorry, the red light does give this an odd look, but this is Mama and her babies. So currently these babies have no names, and I don't really know. I don't really have any names off the top of my head for them. But if you guys have any names, leave them in the description. You can just leave random names and I'll pick from those or you can like specifically say the name for which chick. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and staying tuned for more Sky Doodle. Subscribe to be notified when those videos come out. Bye.